Okay, welcome back to the Upload TV. It is another episode of Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. I'm still out here at Costa Brava. It's day three, it's in the afternoon. Filmed uh, one of these earlier this morning at Golf Daro. Um, make sure you go and watch that one. Um, basically, sun's come out this afternoon. Course looks stunning. Three holes to warm up. I'm gonna take on the 14th and it's stroke six is a par five. Um, I, I, I don't know what lies up there. It certainly sort of weaves its way uh, slightly from left to right. I'm gonna go driver because it looks pretty long. I haven't got the yardage to hand right now, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, driver's not been great this last two or three days, but I'm gonna give it a go and uh, yeah, see if I can get something down that left-hand side. Turned it over too much. No, left, left, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah, turn it over just a tad too much and a good job I didn't start it anywhere uh, further left because that would have made it to the fence. But as it stands, fair, I took driver because as you can see, it's a fair old uh, wide open fairway. So even by my standards, I was gonna struggle not to miss that one. So it looks in good nick and uh, we'll get up there and see what lies, I get a better idea of what's in front of me on this next shot. Yeah, interesting one this, because I've still not got a great idea of where I'm going. There's sort of directly over the large tree that you can see in the center of the fairway almost really. And you can see some guys hopefully just behind there. They're on the green. So it's a difficult one. I don't know whether you're supposed to play down this left-hand side a bit and then come in from that side. There's a bunker down the center. I think my line is I'm gonna go at the tree because uh, if I can get something, it ain't gonna get that far in terms of uh, distance wise. And I'd like to just, I'm gonna say turn it over just a little bit. I'd like to say draw, but I hope that doesn't turn up into a hook. So left of the tree um, for my next shot would be nice. We shall see. Well, I haven't turned it over, that's bullet straight, but it could be good. Go. I just don't know how much that's blocked out because like I said, I've gone straight over the bunker line. It was actually just leaked out just right of the tree, but I don't know that's gonna be blocked out. We'll soon find out. Right, just while I get my club, as you can see there, it's absolutely perfect. And I make no excuses of the fact it was, it was lucky because I was gonna go that side of the tree and that was the other way of playing it, but it's tight either way. Um, I think this is stroke index six based on that second shot. You've got to get somewhere real thin landing area and it's obviously a long second shot. But anyway, this is where I am. I've got about a hundred in, I reckon. So I'm playing pitching wedge. I'm just gonna, nice easy wedge. Yeah. Go, go. Oh, it has done as well. That's now sitting pin eye, I think. I was worried I wasn't gonna clear the bunker. Let's see if I can zoom. I'm filming this one on my own this afternoon. Uh, but let's get in on that so you can get an idea because that's, that's a pleasing result. Once again, a little bit lucky, I would say, because there was a couple of yards shorter and that was going in that front left bunker. Right, like I said, got a little bit lucky because there's no pitch mark there, so that must have literally landed just on that bank. Um, but where it's finished, there's a birdie chance. So really, it's still two for the win because this is uh, stroke six. The sun is well and truly out. It's gorgeous here now. Right, let's see if I can get off to a birdie start at Costa Brava. Go on, go on. Well, it was a decent effort. Again, just read a little bit too much into that one. But good five, good start. That's a, a win, one up for the average golfer. Decent par, that. Right, okay, 
it is day three of the trip at Costa Brava. It's another man versus golf old challenge. It's another golf course. This is Golf Costa Brava. And uh, I've had a little bit of a whiz around this one on the buggy and uh, returned back to. Right, so next up is actually the 11th. I've had to do a little bit of a drive through because it's really congested the course. So I've made my way back round. So I'm on the 11th tee. Um, interesting hole, it's a par five. I drove through it earlier. It sweeps its way from left to right and uh, quite interesting. I don't know the stroke index actually. Well, it's stroke index 10, so I'm not getting a shot. Ideally, you want something moving a little bit left to right, but uh, driver's been a bit, bit wayward for me. I can't control it at all at the moment, but I'm still sticking with it. Right, let's see what we've got. What a backdrop that is though. Stunning visually. It'd be better if there was a a white dot going up into the sky and we'll see if we can do that that's absolutely bang on it's up the white stake if you can see it might even pick that up on the backdrop just 10 yards is it going to stay there yeah 10 yards right of that bunker and a pretty decent start to be fair let's see if i can zoom in on that one for you it's so busy this afternoon, like I said, it's um, it's difficult to get this in, but anyway, that's where, where are we now, hang on, can we see, yeah, that's it, so perfect spec and should be able to see a little bit more of where I'm going when I get down there. Right, so we can't quite see it yet, but uh, trust me, there's a green somewhere in the distance up there, um, but it still needs pretty much... Um, left hand side and then hopefully leave a bit of a flick with a wedge into what is like i said i've drove through it's quite a small green i think right part two let's see if we can get this bit right i'm going hybrid it's performed well for me the last few days if i just put the fatal kiss of death on it oh no that is it's so nice when you get one like that isn't it well, you picked up the sound on camera, but that's really sweetly struck. I think I'm in good nick there. Happy with that. Right, I'm setting the camera back there so you can get a better feel for the hole. Like I said, it's a lovely par five. To be fair, what I've seen in this golf course as well at Costa Brava, it's fairly friendly in terms of uh, fairly wide fairways. So even I've had driver, like I said, out a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, there, there is a bit of forgiveness and uh, there isn't any rough as such. So that's nice for a change. Anyway, I've got a uh, 56 wedge. Let's see if I can get one close to uh, match those couple of decent shots. it yeah and it did sit just tugged it a bit trying to hit half a shot it's perfect in terms of distance it's pin eye put for birdie what's going on and yeah it's funny i played uh played golf with um younger lad james wiltshire like i said hopefully you've watched that uh nine all course vlog we did together and uh it's just it what i, what I realize is what a pessimistic golfer i am um yeah, just the difference in attitude is unbelievable. He's optimistic and sort of goes for everything. And I'm very much the opposite, very much a defensive golfer. And it really doesn't always pay. Anyway, let's be positive and see if I can roll on this birdie, eh? It's only two par fives, two birdie putts. Happy. Happy if I roll one in. Ooh, I don't know. I'm struggling with that one a bit. So, if in doubt, I'm going to go down the middle. Oh, I've absolutely railroaded that by. Oh, dear me. So much for um, optimism. I should have dollied it. Well, it didn't do a lot coming past the hole. Oh! 
Unbelievable. How to make a mess of things there. Talking too much, talking about being positive. Where's the camera? Right, you're over there. Uh, yeah, didn't quite go according to plan. So I lost that, so we're back to all square. Turn the camera around for this one because we're going to be facing. I'll switch it when I hit the tee shot. Well, we're facing right into the sun, as you can see from the scrim. Which is, don't get me wrong, it's a nice problem to have. But it's a great par for this. I did drive this through this one earlier, and it caught the eye. So I'm back at the 16th. Um, it's stroke index two. It's 400 yards, and it's a real severe dogleg right to left. So when I switch the camera around, I'll get a better idea. But it's all about the position off the tee shot. I think. And again, a fairly small target to find as well, even if you get that position right. So, right, switch camera around. Look at that for a backdrop. Like I said, I hope the sun's not glaring too much. So don't forget, we're all square. Uh, really threw that one away. Should have, uh, should have had this one by now, but there you go. Right, so we'll try driver again, because it was a decent driver. And he's a similar shot as well. Started off down the right and uh, a draw as opposed to a hook is what I need. Right, have I got that in the bag? Oh, I've absolutely buttoned that. That is an absolute peach. I hope that you've been able to pick it up off that green backdrop. I don't know, like I said, because the sun's right into us, but absolutely thrilled with it. I've hit some decent shots, to be fair, on this uh, three holes. And uh, put a smile on the face, because I didn't do that this morning. I was, uh, like I said, a tad hungover, but feeling better now. Right, I'm just going to start it here. That's where, that's where I'm stood, and that's the green. That's the target we're going to. I'm actually, we're going to be moving over there. So I'm about 20 yards um left of being perfect but i've still got a decent shot over the corner right i've decided i'm going to go with uh, i'm going to go with eight iron not a hundred percent sure that's enough club but that's the decision i'm going to go i'm going to start it off <coughs> outside the right side i don't think you can be left of this flag i think you're uh, pretty much a goner so again let's go for this let's go for this draw and not hook come on Oh, it's right on it. It is right on it. Has it got the legs? Didn't quite see that come down, to be honest. It was right on line for the flag. Happy with the strike. Just have to wait and see if it's uh, got the legs or not. The fairways are pick and clean. I haven't had to do it so far because there's been a downpour this morning. So it's just wipe the mud off that. Yeah, it was wrong club. At least one club. It was definitely a seven iron anyway. But here we are. Um, so up and down for the win. Not that one. Oh. Do you know what, I just checked up too much. I really like the way I got uh, right on the back of the ball there, but it just hasn't released. It just, it just did spin that bit too much. We've got a putt for par then. Right, well, the first thing to note is I can't believe that that ball has not released down to the hole because it's uh, it is literally all downhill. I can't believe I've got that much check on this. Anyway, stop whinging and looks to me, yes, I am recording the sound. Uh, it looks to me like there's a big swing on this um, from right to left. So I've got this for the par four, which mean, would mean a win, or two for the half, which be, would mean match all square. I don't be too bold like I was last time. There's positivity and positivity. Oh! <laughs> it just needed it in higher, and it certainly, uh, certainly had the pace. And that was me laying off it as well. I was uh, worried about, I was trying to dribble that in, but it still ran a foot past. Anyway, five net four, average golfer, 
and golf club Costa Brava, it's all squared a match. And uh, but I enjoyed that one. Felt a lot better this afternoon. The sun came out. Looks gone a little bit dull again now. It's uh, it's been a really enjoyable afternoon. Summary of this course is like I said, very golfer friendly, really picturesque type of course. That if I'm on holiday, I'd really enjoy playing. Doesn't punish you too much, and I think pretty much golfers of all levels would enjoy this and if you are shooting a bit of a round then uh, playing some decent golf i reckon you could uh, put a decent card together anyway that's me done i'm gonna watch liverpool man city now fingers crossed right thanks for watching see you soon